Okay, so this tower was 306, so they must give you extra because I didn't even, we definitely did not get 306 in those four spins. And we got one to fall. Oh, that was fun. Now, is it gonna push the other one at all? No, no it's other not. The other one's just way too heavy. Dang it. There's a, there's a no win situation. away from that tower. <laughs> Don't you think, Robert? Or you want to, what do you? Uh, I'll give it a, I'll play a little more video. So I, I just can't. I, uh, I'm well, hungry. You could be here all day. You could be here all day. I don't know if it's worth the extra. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I guess we did build it. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't walk away from it. Now that we have that little one, hopefully that will be easier to push forward. You can, you can play. It's still, it's, 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 it's bloody, it's blue, so it's okay for him to scan. Hard. I was hoping the little one would be easier to push forward, and it, it is moving on. Right no, no, it moved. It moved. whatsoever and it's pushing our second tower to the right <laughs> it is it's gonna be in no man's land shortly yeah once you're done with those I'm okay with no yeah, because I don't I don't know if they'll fall in straight yeah and he's got 22 tries left I'm done I want to get something to eat it was it was definitely fun learning the best way to play this game but now that we know I don't now know that we know yeah I'm, I need a break from angry bird <laughs> I mean, we did get a lot, heck a lot of tickets, but I'd rather be winning some collector cards. <laughs> See, it didn't do anything. No. If you spent a hundred bucks on me, it might not even be enough, you know? It moved a little, but what? not enough to do anything. tickets so this is angry birds coin crash it's an enjoyable coin pusher but sometimes you jinx yourself by making your tower too tall <laughs> all right 
You ready to get something to eat? All right, quick show because this music's loud. He got the loaded queso nachos, and then I just got hot wings and fries. Looks really good. All right, we just left main event. We got there at 11, and it is 3.30. This is the longest we've ever spent in an arcade. Um, we actually had a really great time. Everyone was super friendly. I got a couple pamphlets that just talk about the different things like Monday nights after four, there's free gameplay, and then Tuesday nights, kids eat free. So they definitely have a lot of different stuff going on, and then bowling. Um, we did get a, <clears throat> since we were one of the first 200 people to be going to this main event, we did get a, a card free laser tag for a year. I think the fine print is like one session a week, which is fine. And it's like one per family, so I think it's just like, I get free and then we pay for Roberts, whatever. But my sister got one too, so we can play against her. Um, so that was cool. And there's main event. We're driving. I don't know if you can see it. We're driving past it. Um, <clears throat> this whole complex, there, there's a Top Golf. Um, if you're not familiar with Top Golf, that's what is that called? The golfing where you just target practice. <laughs> driving range. Like driving range. Fancy driving. <clears throat> so Top Golf is a fancy driving range and there's an outlet mall right here that didn't really last. And so they're turning it into an entertainment district. There is called the factory. That's there's a music hall that they just built. So they're revamping this shopping complex into an entertainment complex and the main event is one of them one of the first places to go in and they plan to add other stuff too so um it's gonna just be a hopefully a major entertainment venue <clears throat> sorry my throat is a little worse because I talked a lot today to different people talk more than I have in a long time so that's why I'm not sick it's just talking too much so overall um, Price-wise, main event is very comparable to all arcades. No different there. They do. They did have the dill combo, the mill dill combo, where they have a certain things on the menu that when you buy it, you can get tickets added to your card, and that does. It is worth it. It does give you a little extra than if you were just buying the tokens straight from the machine. So, I'd always recommend those dill mill combos. I don't normally eat um, at the arcades. Definitely at Dave and Buster's. We can go like, we'll eat there one out of 10 trips. We did eat at main event today. I can see eating a little more at main event. The price, the food prices is comparable to <clears throat> mid-range. It's not cheap. It's like mid-range. Wings and fries was $13. Robert got nachos. That was like $9.99. So not the cheapest eats, but not the most expensive either. And the food was good. All of, I had have no complaints on the food. The service was great. Um, everyone I ran into was super, super nice. This place just opened, so no one's disillusioned yet. Everything is sparkly, shiny, clean. I definitely plan on going back a lot more um, until the novelty wears off because it's just, there just was so many games, like way more games than I've seen. Um, way more games that are new to me. Because we go to Dave and Buster's a lot, but it was just the same old, same old. And so this, there was, oh my God, at least 20 games I had never seen before. So that was a nice aspect that it's just, help me out here, Robert. I'm running out of words. Don't you agree there was a lot more? There's a lot more games. A lot more games <clears throat> that we're not familiar more with. If, yeah, and, and there's more fun games. You can spend more. One thing that I like about it is you actually can end up spending more time there where you feel like, <clears throat> oh, I want to come back. Because sometimes yeah, because at Dave and Buster's you go in and you play a couple of games like, well, now what is there to do? And well, you spend your money very quickly. We were there from 11 to 340. Yeah. We only put $100 worth of credits on our card. So we we played a lot a lot longer with less money. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the games, you play longer and you get more enjoyment out of it. So $100 for like four hours entertainment is pretty darn good, I think. Don't you? Oh, I because we that. also... So he, he won... 10,000 tickets today. There's a lot of games that are pretty good tickets, to, uh, ways to win tickets. Um, and so the prize room, I have a video that I posted and I did post a video if a, a walkthrough. So if you're seeing this, 
just search my channel because I've already posted those videos. So the prize room is a lot smaller than Dave & Buster's, but everything is nice. A lot of great prizes, a lot of nicer prizes. The plush is not generic, it's name brand character plush. There's a couple generic, like I think I saw Wolf, but for the most part they were movie characters, name brand characters, licensed characters that you're gonna recognize. Like Incredible Pizza, all their plush is generic. So the main event, all their plush is licensed, so that was very nice. And you got a, a broad range of prizes, like you know the candy for people who only win a couple tickets, the middle of the line for the people who do pretty good, and then the, pr the nice prizes for the people who wanna hold on to their tickets and build up to that. Um, because I, they have a Nintendo Switch, I already have a Nintendo Switch, but hey, why not win another? Their Nintendo Switch was um, 22,850 tickets, and my husband won 10,000 tickets today. So he I was could, lucky today, though. I was very lucky. He, he, you're ten, okay, don't say that. You can definitely win that many tickets. Again, <clears throat> he's halfway to a Nintendo Switch. If Probably won't get it because I already have one, but it was nice to know that I could get one if like mine broke or whatever. So, um, Robert did really good. I don't know why he's, he, this is a little pessimistic side coming out. He did really good. I don't think they rigged the machine so like you do so well that you feel so good that you come back and then the next time you don't win as much. Um, he won all, all this stuff fair and square. Um, and did I mention that all the coin pushers, they have the Angry Bird coin pusher, they have SpongeBob, Wizard of Oz, Gosh, the only ones they didn't have was they did not have Blackbeard, which is fine. That's an older style. And they didn't have Circus Clown, which is fine. I don't really like that one. But they had all the others. So, so the many. Cool. Dude. They had Willy Walk in the Chocolate Factory. I really wanted to play that. I didn't. I was too busy playing everything else. But next time, I will be playing me some Charlie, Cho Charlie and the Chocolate they have Factory. So many, games, so many games like that that you can go back. <clears throat> you feel like you haven't done it all. I definitely feel like I have not done it all. If, if my phone wasn't dead, we probably would have stayed longer, but my phone is almost dead. And um, so anyway, I just, you know what? I've been rambling as usual. I'm rambling way too much. I just wanted to say, I loved it. Main event is awesome. I'm extremely happy that they came to St. Louis. Um, but you know, we've been in main event before and we've never had any complaints. No, we've always, always been nice. we've been to one in Orlando. We've been to one in Las Vegas. We've been to one in Gatlinburg. Never had a problem with main event. It is a great chain. So very happy they're here in St. Louis. I love Dave and Buster's. Don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna be going to main event for a long for a while until I get uh, tired. Louisville. Of it. Was it Louisville? We went to one in Louisville. Okay. This the main event has got me because it's only 20 minutes from my house. And it's really easy to get to. It's an easy, yeah, it's an easy drive too. There's no traffic. And this, this building is so big and everyone was super nice. And they have wooden floors. Like someone talked to Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster's has carpeted floors that get so gross and hard to clean. But main event is every time. It has a weird smell when you go in. Tile like and, and wood. Have you ever just, notice that every time? Yeah. It it's smells just, weird. I didn't, turn, I didn't mean to turn this into a no, I was downing just saying, on Dave and Buster's. I, no. I love Dave and Buster's. It's just carpet. It does that. Carpet is not the best way to keep clean. It's horrible. And they had tons of hand sanitizer bottles everywhere. Dave and Buster's got rid of theirs. Yeah. Um, but main event, very clean, very new and shiny. And we will be coming back. And that's it. I've, I'm tired. I've never been in an arcade this long. <laughs> it's hard work playing games. But somebody's got to do it. <laughs>